Hey guys, Brad M73 here, and welcome to Season 2 of Farming Simulator 15, where we are now on the Gold Edition. You can see the little Gold Edition uh, icon. This is actually the official expansion if you're coming from Steam. Um, actually, I think it's even listed as the official expansion and with gold in parentheses um, on the Giants webpage, but uh, the Gold Edition is typically like a package uh, that's sold at retail uh, with the additional you know, gold edition content. So um, the version of the game, if you look at the lower left, is 1.4.1. 1. Um, I actually downloaded the 1.4.1 1. patch a couple weeks ago. Uh, it has been available for, for a few weeks on Giant's website. If you go into updates, um, you could update it to the current version. Now, I don't know if it's required to do that uh, in order to install the DLC. The DLC might already have it integrated. I just don't know. I did it this way, and so far, so good. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started on a career. Uh, we're going to pick this uh, second save game slot. There, or, there's our old Bjornholm, and we are going to play on the Sosnovka map. This Eastern European area represents an important agricultural center with high potential. Show Sosnovka's residents how a modern farm is run. All right. <clears throat> Agriculture is one of the most important industries in Eastern Europe. The wide, flat landscape is ideal for managing large fields. The farm near Sosnovka emerged from a former cooperative. Even today, the village puts much emphasis on self-sufficiency through the animal husbandry and cultivation of fields. The widespread nearby forests are furthermore suitable for fertile forestry. Accept the challenge, expand your farm, and upgrade your machinery to the latest technology. The people of Sosnovka are counting on you. All right, they're counting on us, guys. Okay. So let's see if you're not familiar. So here we are. We've got an old rusty farm. And, you know, it would be really cool if, like, you know, as our farm gained more money, you know, the rust would kind of go away. And I don't know. Maybe it does. I really doubt it does. But maybe it does. So we've got this. I think this is the drop-off point. Um, so, yeah, this is where we come in to dump everything off for our silos. All right. What's this? Is this like fertilizer? Uh, yeah, fertilizer. Uh, this is seeds, obviously. Seeds, yep. And then... I'm going to guess this is like a pickup point right here. Ooh, let's run up. Can we run up the stairs, please, please? Um, I haven't... I, I actually ran around on this map for about 10 or 15 minutes earlier, and I haven't seen any indication that there that there are any type of like Easter eggs, like gold coins or anything like that. So I don't know. Um, but we can uh, we can. Whoops. We've got some basic equipment here. And uh, we actually start... Let's take a look at the map really quick. So we've got our main farm here. Here, I've got course play running. Yeah, we've got the main farm here, the cows up here. There's a bulletin board, bakery, sawmill, grain elevator. There's a shop, uh, grass drop-off point, gas station. There's a couple places to drop off eggs now up to the north. Um, actually, wait. Is that cow? No, that's cows. Sheep are way down here at the bottom. Uh, we've got a vegetable warehouse... Um, which I would assume that would be for like canola. Uh, we got biogas transport company, um, and then we've we've got the train. Here's the freight yard. I think there's a train down here. I think there's another train over here at the transport company. Uh, so it's a pretty big, you know, pretty big farm. I mean, these fields 22, 24, 27 are huge, and we'll see those. Uh, a bit later, uh, 30, you know, you can join all these fields together and just make some pretty massive fields. Actually, if we go back into here, uh, you can kind of, uh, I don't know if you can really see this, this any better or not. Uh, we've got 36 fields that I can see. Uh, we start out with field 14 here and, f and 19 right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it'll come through, but uh, it's like green on green, so kind of hard to see. Uh, and so, you know, I can imagine like joining all, you know, buying like 6, 12, 16, 21, like joining those and just making like really super long fields. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, but I don't know. We'll we'll have to kind of explore and get used to the map. Uh, we've got two big forestry areas, one here, one on the center of the map. Uh, there's, I, there's probably some bridges and things like that that we need to discover. But um, 
I just want to go and get this guy started seeding. And um, I think we own this field right here. And so <clears throat> we can go ahead and hopefully get him started, and he will. Uh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to do that. I want to do cannolis. Well, canola. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, uh, we've got the far the cows over here. Um, I think this is probably where the manure bin is going to be. This is where the poop, you know, like the the raw manure, the liquid manure is going to be. Um, maybe this is the milk. I don't know. Boy, that's that'd be really rough if it's milk. But yeah, cows are going to be in here. Um, here's the automatic milking machine, which really looks in bad shape. Um, I don't know if this opens up. Oh, at least they have a back scratcher. And, uh, you know, our hay and everything is going to go in here. Or not. Well, hay is going to go over here. Well, no. Straw is going to go over here. Hay is... Whoa. What's, what's up with the... Okay. It's, <laughs> it's clean. It's dirty. It's clean. It's dirty. Okay, I don't get it. So, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe if we do get more money... Wait, look. Did you see that? Oh. Look, what? Why are our buildings changing colors like that? Uh, see, it almost looks like it's what? It almost looks like there's not no texture on this. Look, either that or it's like so dirty. What? What is going on here? I, I, I'm telling you guys I have the latest NVIDIA drivers something is majorly wrong ah, I gotta love the PC version okay what is this place getting rid of straw and hay all right okay that's gonna drive me insane hey did that thing oh <clears throat> and we start off with this nice Rostelmash um, combine also if you did it the direct buy if you come into mods um, under harvesters you can get the little Rostelmash uh, Neva, but it only holds 3,000, um, so they should start you off with that track. They should just give it to you, not make it like an extra DLC thing. Give this to everybody and start you off with that one. It seems stupid to do the bigger one, but whatever, whatever. It ain't my game. It's Giants game. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to... Why can't I not... Oh. Because I have to unfold it. That's right. And we will get started harvesting there. Um, <clears throat> also, we will have... Let's see here. Oh, no. He's seeding over there. Okay, good. Um, oh, we have... This is probably like wood chips and whatnot. See if it'll say if we drive through this. Wood chip storage. This is probably sh potatoes and sugar beets. Yep. Um, oh, the texture. Oh, this is probably like a garage or something with the grease pit right there. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at the map here. And I'm going to head out this direct... Whoa. can't really see too well <laughs> with that. Okay. I'm assuming this is going to be like a silage pit in through here. Either that or it's just like a the way the road goes out here. I don't know. So he's doing his thing. Um... The map actually kind of reminds me a little bit more of the map from uh, Professional Farmer or Farm Expert 2016, except it's much better. It's, I don't know, it, there, there's just something that's more finished about 
the farming simulator maps. Um, so let's see. Let's go up here. I just want to kind of look at these fields. Um, you'll notice there's a lot of angles in the field, so I don't know exactly how that's going to affect, um, you know, the hired workers. Uh, a lot of times they don't like to uh, work properly. Uh, I just want to kind of see what the field prices are over here. Hello. Uh, all right, 94. Yeah, we can't afford that field. Actually, we can. We just have to get a bank loan for it. Um, so we're going to just kind of do a quick map tour here um, for this episode, I think. And then uh, in episode number two, we're going to really start you know, farming uh, as hardcore as possible, try to get our, our money built up and uh, get, some, get some decent equipment. Uh, this, I think, hello. This, I think, oh, I saw the egg. There's an egg selling point over there. Um, there's the smokestack. Oh, and here's the mural we've all seen from the screenshots. Hello, ladies. Yeah, this is, I don't know, this just screams communism to me. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not a communist? Or, or even like a socialist, if you wanna, if you wanted to use those that term as well. Nah, not so much. Um, but yeah, that's like that type of uh, uh, architecture and those types of wor murals were, you know, pretty common, uh, you know, in the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe. You know, any pretty much anywhere that was behind the Iron Curtain. Um, I'm. Oh, that is the. Law is that where we drop off logs? That is the sawmill where you can go and drop off um, your logs if you just want to go. You know, if you just want to drop logs into the water, I'm pretty sure that's where you go. Because, whoops, there's a lumber yard somewhere. Let's see, there's a freight yard. Lumber yard's down here. We'll, we'll go down there shortly and see it. We've also got a grain elevator up here. Let's go down and check out the grain elevator. I have not done that yet. Um, here we're having problems with textures. Yeah, there's some kind of a major bug. Uh, now I'm running an NVIDIA card with the latest GeForce drivers. I actually checked to make sure that those were working um, before playing the game. So, oh, look at this. This looks cool. So yeah, I don't know exactly what's going on. You know, again, this is day one. It's the PC version, and these types of weird issues are going to pop up. They're not going to bother me too much. Um, I hope they don't bother you guys all that much either. Um, it's just kind of one of those little annoyances until they get it, uh, get things fixed. I, I guess I don't know. So anyway, um, here we've got some. Bridges, I think our home farm is right over there. Yeah, it looks like it. I see some flickering textures there on the bridge that are kind of disconcerting. It almost seems like it's draw distance kind of stuff, but, you know, who knows. Um, we'll take a drive through the forest up here. I, I actually like this map. I like how it's laid out. <clears throat> I might actually like this map more than Bjornholm, and I haven't even seen this whole map. Of course, you know, three months from now, I'm going to be screaming and <laughs> saying about how much I don't like this map, but, you know, we'll, we'll see when we get there. We'll see when we get there. Okay, so the grain elevator is straight over there. And this is the farm shop where you can go to buy your your tractors and whatnot. Or, you know, if you're like me, you just hit P and, you know, bring, bring up your menu like that. But uh, we'll run up here really quick. Um, the cell point is over to the left. You can see it over there. And interestingly enough, 
We can drive our tractor inside the building. Um, that's the, okay, yeah, vehicle shop. Activate the menu. There we go. Okay. And we'll drive out. We'll kind of continue on down the road here. Uh, see, that's going back south. We just came from there. So I'm just going to uh, we'll drive through the grass here, kind of checking out <clears throat> a bit of the scenery. And there's an egg. Oh, is this where our chickens are? Oh, this is where our chicken coop is. Okay. Um, yeah, I see the textures are still doing some weird things. <laughs> Wait, I'm not going to make the same joke I did last season. <laughs> I think there might have been a little bit of kickback. Um, there's a grass sell point right there. So if you want to guys, you know, if you guys want to sell grass, this is most likely a fuel. Yep. And look at these windows. That is so, that just, it, this, it reminds me of something out of like Fallout, you know? Oh, and Fallout 4 comes out in a couple weeks. And I might actually do a Let's Play series on that because it looks like it might be awesome. Um, I cannot read any of this stuff. I'm assuming it's like for, this is like your, well, obviously they're fire extinguishers. Wow, could you guys go any like less detailed on the models for the fire extinguishers? I haven't seen detail that crappy since like, you know, 2003. <laughs> um, let's see, we've got a town up here. I don't think there's really much in it. There appears to be an ATM and an egg selling point. So, we've got, oh, we've got two egg selling points. One at the top left, one at the top right. Okay, cool. Um, there we go. We are at Chokobka. Chokobka, yeah. Or no, Koch, Kochobka. Now, here's something that a lot of people... I think are going to ask and there's these pipes everywhere now i'll tell you right now i don't really know what they are but i've looked around the map <clears throat> and being that there's like these yellow and red signs which i have no clue what they say and fire extinguishers and plus they all they're on the outside of the home with pipes going in i would assume that there's radiators in there i would say that that's like a natural gas system hey baby hey how's it hey what's your number oh like the oh yeah look at that oh sorry guys i um, got a little distracted there <laughs> whoa look at this like weird communist uh basketball hoop i've never seen one like that in my entire life that is actually kind of cool um yeah and it definitely would be something that like you would see in you know eastern europe not that i've really i i, I don't i've not been to the czech i think this map is supposed to be like in the czech republic somewhere oh sorry i'll look at the old cars too see we don't have like bmws and stuff we have like all these old you know <laughs> like old school Eastern European cars. And it's like, come on, guys. You could, you know, this is a little stereotypical. There's a little, uh, I mean, this must be like, if this is supposed to be like the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia, I mean, this is still like the worst area, <laughs> you know, in the Czech Republic. Because uh, I think that, you know, it's not really that bad over there. Oh, look at the little chickens. Uh, Merco, is that beef? I don't know. Um, pretty wall girl on a wall mural, and this is like and how did you do that? I have no idea what any of says. Chibikiras and yeah, I'm ever all of my Russian, like anybody that speaks Russian or any of the like Eastern European languages are all unsubscribing right now because I've just offended them all. 
I, I hope you're not mad at me, guys. I'm just, you know, trying to have a bit of fun. I'm just trying to have fun. Can't we all get along? Um, but, uh, yeah. Ugh. That's really going to bug me. That is really going to bug me. Well, hopefully, you know, once we do the tour. Now, what are these little fields? They're just like, they're not fields we can buy. They're just fields. Maybe they're just fields we can use. I don't know. Um, so here, we come out here, and we've got some nice big fields. Look at these big fields. These are some pretty big fields. Um, we've got the biogas plant down here, which is kind of cool. Um, I think there's a, yeah, there's a gas station way out there. I don't think that other building is anything. No, it doesn't look to be. Um, so we've got this biogas plant. It's... Okay, well, I don't get what's going on with this uh, draw distance stuff. Uh, there are five, one, two, three, four, five. There are five uh, bunkers for grass. And uh, I'm just going to run over here because we haven't really been able to do this before where we could actually go up and, yeah, see, this is some kind of glitch in the engine. So hopefully they get that finished. I am going to post this link onto the Giants forum about, you know, glitches in the Gold Edition. So hopefully, there. yeah, that's really, really bugging me. Um, anything up here? I don't think there's really anything up here. Ah. <laughs> it's it's going to trigger like an actual like aneurysm or something. Um, oh, we need to go over here, though. So we've got some nice big fields. Um, I think on the other side of that field is kind of like a... It's not really like an island. Yeah, it is. Um, but there's like a big foresty area here. So yeah, let's go over to the transport company. Boy, there's fuel places all around the map. That's actually a good thing, because I think on the last one we only had like two or maybe three on Bjornholm. The only ones I can remember are the one at the south side of the map next to the biogas plant and then the one kind of up near the farm shop. There, I think there might have been another one on the west side of the map or east side of the map, but I don't remember. See, I've ar I'm already putting Bjornholm behind me. Um, so this is what? The transport company, I guess? And there's the drop-off point in there. See, these drop-off points really seem like um, the drop-off points from uh, professional farmer, farm expert. All right, I'm just kind of going to try to follow the train as far as it'll go. I'm going to kind of crap my pants if it gets down here and then <clears throat> just stops. You know, or not stops, but like disappears. Like if it just like phases away. Come on, go faster. See, these fil these fields are pretty big around here. And some of these fields, like, th like that field back there, you can definitely join. Uh, fields 22, 24, and 27. I'm fairly confident we'll be able to join those. Now you'll notice that, like in the background, the the, the road actually has uh, some concrete barriers. Yeah, you can't go beyond that. That's the actual map boundary. Um, I just like the feel of this map. It's a pretty cool map. We need a faster tractor to keep up with that uh, that thing. I'm gonna say. So far, I'm so impressed with this map, aside from, you know, some graphics glitches. I'm so impressed with the way the map looks that it's probably so far my favorite map that Giants has done. I didn't like Westbridge Hills. I thought it was way too stereotypical of the United States, you know, even though it's supposed to be an American map. And I'm not trying to be like a jerk, you know, and saying, oh, you know... You guys suck at making maps or something like that. It's just that it was. It was a very stereotyp... Oh. Oh, the, the train's still going. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, wait. This is the... Oh, this is the lumber yard. Good. Okay, cool. 
Um, so where is he going? Where... Where is he going? I bet that... No? I bet the map boundary is like right here. We're going to hit an invisible wall like any moment. Boom! There it is. I haven't been down here before, I swear, guys. Alright, so this is the lumber yard. This is where you want to take the lumber if you want to get more for it. So, yep. Okay. Um, so we've got some more fields here. I just, I really like this map. I I don't know why. I like the little, you know, like the these dirt, you know, things. It's just, I don't know. It feels like a much more natural map to me. Yeah, like those two fields, definitely going to, you know, put those together. I mean, this feels like a huge, this just feels like a bigger map. It really does. Now, what is this place? This is the grain elevator. Oh, we got. We need to go up to the uh, garden center, which is going to be up this road, I guess, to the left. And let's see here. I guess we'll have to come back down here shortly. Um, I'm going to take this left right, or this right, right here. Oh, there's a, there's the wool drop off point up there too. Maybe when we get up to the top of the hill, we might be able to see it. I don't know that I'm going to go all the way over there. And what is that I'm looking at down there? That is... Oh, we need to go to the cow, or the sheep. So that's probably... Okay, I think the gas station is there and the sheep is back there. And I feel like I'm going to go into the river here. So... I don't know what's I don't know what we're gonna do back there. Okay, so this is the This is another store and a drop off place. <laughs> this totally looks like a uh what is this called? The garden center. I guess the garden center is a selling point now. I don't know. It looks like, you know, at one time these were level and then they just boonk fell off. <laughs> um, what do we buy from here again? Uh, oh, this is where we get saplings for the tree planter. Okay. Don't need any of those yet. Oh, and there's a small field right here. Very small field. I don't really know what we will use this for. But what... Well, let's see here. Let's look at, let's see, what is the garden biomass heating plant, obviously. Garden center. Okay, so the garden center is going to buy wood chips. Okay, I get it. Um, does the garden center, well, so green elevator mill, transport company does those three. Gosh, we got a lot more places to sell, which is interesting. That means a lot more uh, <laughs> a lot more course play routes we're going to have to do. Uh, biomass heating plant, bio, well, what's the biogas plant buy? Nothing. Oh, they buy silage. <gasps> oh, wait, that's just the, that's just the normal silage that we've already sold. All right, so here is the other forested area, I guess. Um, I'm just going to drive up into the woods here since we can. Not really anything up here. 
other than what appears to be a big cliff, which I do not under any circumstances want to drive off of, even though I'm about to. Um, so over there, I'm guessing, across the valley right there, that's probably the wool, that's probably the wool drop off, the wool selling point. And... Oh. Okay. Alright, so we don't have too much. We just have kind of like the bottom right part of the map to go and look at now. Um, so we'll come around the corner. It's like a power relay station or something there. Okay, we've already been up through here, but I just want to go and get to the dirt road on the other side of Field 31 so we can go south. And then we'll make our way past the sheeps, and then we'll go to the um, the freight yard. Get yeah, course play out of here. We'll go to the freight yard, the freight yard mill, and biomass heating plant there on the bottom right of the map. Okay. Oh, another thing, too, is how much... Oh, we don't have any... No, way. Wait, wait, wait. No, there's no... Like, usually you, they start you out with a little bit of, you know, grain to get you started, but apparently not on hard mode. I kind of want to start a game on easy or normal mode just to see if that changes, but... I don't know, I'm afraid now. Uh, let's see, how am I doing frame rate wise? 144 frames a second. I mean, it's pretty much locked. Um, can we go in here? I don't think so. And there's that texture glitch. Um, at least I'm getting a nice solid frame per second. Now I'm guessing that at, as we get more vehicles on the map, it's probably going to decrease. Wood pa wool pallets. I almost said wood pallets. Actually, I did say wood pallets. Um, look how long that road is. Ooh. Oh! And you can't knock the signs over? No. Can I bang into that? Yes. All right. Oh, there's another grass selling point over there. Now, wait a second here. I have... Oh, no, we can't go this way. I was going to just drive down the railroad tracks, and then I'm like, no, maybe not. So I'm pretty, you know, I'm getting pretty excited about this season. I think it's going to be... So far, I was, I was really kind of worried about what Gold Edition was going to be like. I, I really was. And so now I'm kind of a little bit more optimistic. A little bit more optimistic about it. Actually, a lot more optimistic because I really like the map. <clears throat> I like the scenery. I like the way... I don't know. It just feels like it could potentially be a, a, a real place or a real-ish place or, or modeled after a place that is based... You know, more heavily based in reality. Oh, look at the river going out there. That's really nice. I really like this map. Okay, so we got the freight yard coming up on the right. Let's just go over here and check this out. And we've got train, we got the train buttons over there. Okay. Um, looks like, looks like over here.
Ah! There it goes again. Uh, it's almost like if you're at a certain place on the map, it's just going to say, to heck with you, we're going to glitch your graphics out. Um, this is definitely a drop-off point right here. So you're gonna, we're going to have to come over here. Now, what is this place? This is the mill, okay. And I think this is just like a return, so we can come up the other side, make a loop, which is good. And then on the other side is the biomass heating plant, which is where we're going to take... Ooh, nice roundabouts. That's pretty cool. We will take our... Um, wood chips. Oh, this is going to be so much better. We can just pull it up, probably drive right over that and drop it off. Awesome. 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 Ooh, I wonder if we can sell logs here. Doubt it. Um, and then another grass selling point right here. It's like a bunker. Right there. And then um, that's really about it. I mean, you know, now we just have to go up to our farm. I am going to, I'm going to test something here really quick. I want to see where um, our vehicles are going to get reset to. Okay. All right. So we didn't have anything attached to it. Hello. So we didn't, you know, really lose anything. All right. Well, the first thing we need to do is um, we'll have to get our combine offloaded and uh, we'll start doing some real farming here. So uh, we will start that in episode two. Uh, please do not forget to hit that like and share buttons. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new map, if you like it as much as I do. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. We're going to be doing Farming Simulator 15 Gold Edition on the new Sosnovka map. And uh, thank you very much for stopping by. If you made it this far, thank you so much. And we will see you guys next time. I'm Bradham73. Bye for now.